Hola. En esta lección, vamos a hablar del verbo ser en el presente. Before watching this video, you might review the video on the physical descriptions and ser and personality. Go ahead and get a piece of scrap paper and number it from 1 to 10. Let me know in the following if I'm talking about males, M, or females, F, or possibly both. Número uno. Soy alto. Número dos. Somos delgados. Tres. Juan es gordo. Cuatro. María y Ana son bajas. Cinco. Carlos y Pilar son viejos. Seis. ¿Eres generoso o tacaño? Siete. Ustedes son muy serios. Ocho. ¿Juan es guapo? Nueve. Son bien atrevidos. Diez. Alicia es simpática. Bien. Let's take a look at the results. Now, you should have noticed a few interesting things. First, let's take a look at our verb. Did you notice the verb looked different in the sentences? In all of those, we use the verb ser to describe the people's personality or physical characteristics. Figure out which form of ser goes with the people on the chart. Ser means to be. And we usually use it with physical descriptions and personality, as well as other things. You should have come up with, yo soy, I am, tú eres, you are, él es, he is, ella es, she is, usted es, you are, formally, nosotros somos, we are, nosotras somos, we, the females are, ellos son, they are, ellas son, they, the females, are, y ustedes son, you all are. Now, also, notice in those sentences that when we talk about a male, the adjective usually ends in an O, while it would end in an A for a female. Then, when we talked about multiple males and females, we would use OS, and with multiple females we would use AS. With that said, go ahead and figure out which description fits the best, based on how many people there are and who we're talking about. Check the word bank if you aren't sure about a word, and pause the video if you need more time. Por ejemplo. Soy inteligente. Te toca. Somos viejos. Son deportistas. Eres gracioso. Son jóvenes. Soy bonita. Son bonitas. Es impaciente. Son atrevidos. Eres gordo. Bien, now go ahead and try one more activity. Translate the following sentences into Spanish, remembering how we change ser. Juan and Pedro are hardworking. Juan y Pedro son trabajadores. Notice we'll add an ES in the end if it ends in R normally for males. Julia is blonde and smart. Julia es rubia e inteligente. When the word after and starts with an I or an HI, we'll usually change the I to an E in Spanish so we don't lose the sound. The students are lazy. Los estudiantes son perezosos. Now if we're talking about all females, 
Las estudiantes son perezosas. We are young and stingy. Somos jóvenes y tacaños. If all only females are talking, they would say, Somos jóvenes y tacañas. Also, put an ES on jóvenes and add an accent to keep the emphasis in the same place. We'll use joven for both one boy or one girl, and we'll also use jóvenes for both males and females. The girls are white and red-headed. Las chicas son blancas y pelirrojas. You are all organized and serious. Ustedes son ordenados y serios. Or, if we were talking to all females, son ordenadas y serias. Olivia is short and artistic. Olivia es baja y artística. You, formal, are nice and generous. Usted es simpático y generoso. Or if it's a female we're talking to, usted es simpática y generosa. Keep in mind that usted is optional. I am silly and impatient. Soy gracioso e impaciente. And if a female is saying this, Soy graciosa e impaciente. Are you fat or thin? ¿Eres gorda o delgado? Or if you're asking a female, ¿Eres gorda o delgada? Bien. Well, that's all that I have for this video lesson. Let me know if you have any questions or comments about this video below. Gracias por mirar y hasta la próxima.